funny. The last group that was up here, they had six things that they chose from, six different projects that you got. Five of those six are the ones that I chose for my third grade, <laughs> and I let them vote. And I explained them all. We looked at the oil spill. We looked at every one of those, and my kids got to vote. I have 76 third graders. I teach four sections. And they decided they want to do magnetic levitation trains. There are some noble aspirations out there with the growing and all this, and my kids just said, that is so cool. We want to do that because it's got the repelling portions of magnets. So we ordered it. And again, it was from uh, Engineering is Elementary, and that is awesome. If you don't have that as a resource, you need to, to look at that. Now, I'm fortunate enough to be the ARI teacher also, so I have laptops and Mondo pad in my room. And again, that's just a blessing. We did research. We had to learn what physical science was. We had to study Newton's three laws of motion. My kids, this is just actually my kids. They put their earbuds in. I've got iCurio. They go to where I put the uh, passcodes out there for them. And right now they're learning about Sir Isaac Newton. And later we post all of this information around his picture. That's our Mondo pad. We did a complete PowerPoint on what is physical science. What are the laws of motion? What did um, Sir Isaac Newton contribute to this? Um, we studied balanced and unbalanced forces by playing tug of war. And that was a wonderful visual for my kids to understand that an object, object at rest remains at rest unless there is an unbalanced force working on it. And the kids, as you could imagine, love getting up and doing that. We also partnered with the East Kentucky Science Center, and we took all 76 kids over to the Science Center. If you don't have them as a resource, they are top notch. I told them exactly what we wanted. We got um, forces in motion. We got a classroom, uh, eight different stations of forces in motion. This is the electricity demonstration. That was one of my kids. Um, here again, and I about fell over. They did the tug of war too, and I said yes. I said, you know, I, my kids get it. They go, I know what we're doing here, and that he let the kids get up and do things. These are the eight different stations. They had two ladies in there that worked with their kids constantly on each station. You had to decide if it was Newton's first law, second law, or third law that the activity was applying to, and we had probably thirty, about thirty-five and thirty-five. Um, in, in each, while one group was outside of the electricity, the other was in the classroom. These kids loved it. They said that was probably the best field trip that they had taken, and several said we're going to ask our parents to take us back. Of course, we did the planetarium. You cannot go without doing the planetarium, but um, the electricity and the forces in motion directly applied to what we were doing. So even the kids that don't get into this really love it. Now, one of the trains that we have studied, because we've watched videos of magnetic levitation trains, Germany has a train that works by using an electromagnet, not just the repelling forces. So we learned, we made a circuit in class and then the electromagnet so they could see how the power of electricity could basically defeat gravity. Uh, Mondo Pan, we, our, our story dealt with a student who was in Japan, so we learned the differences between American and Japanese schools. And they thought that was just so unusual, but so great. There were so many, there were a lot of differences the way they approached school in Japan with their culture. This was a YouTube video, and that those people are saying when students enter in Japan, they have to do, say something in Japanese like, I respect you, teacher, can I come in? And those kids are going, do what? <laughs> so, um, this is our literature connection. I tried not to use paper. I took the story, the literature connection, I scanned it in, I put it on my web page, and the kids just got a laptop, went to it, read it, did what they needed to do. Um, I, try, I really thought, how am I going to explain all the properties of mag magnets? Honestly, letting them play with it, just letting them have about a half an hour of fooling with the magnets, and they understood so much more than, than I could probably get them to understand by just saying it. This is a book, Rosie Revere Engineer, that was recommended to me, and it is well worth it, um, well worth buying. Um, they study engineer types and fields, and again, that's the engineering design process, you guys see <laughs> And um, they chose a field. Everyone had to choose a field, and I used iCurio and put websites out there for them to look at through PBS and some other sources. And they loved it. We had chemical engineers, aerospace engineers, electrical engineers, and they had to go through the ask, imagine, plan, create, and improve stage to create a presentation, and they actually had to go back and improve it, that last step, to teach us about their engineering field. These are the only two that chose aerospace. 
aerospace engineers, they were very pleased to learn, make about 150000 median salary, so they, they think they want to do it. This is what you saw uh, their kids in the last presentation doing. This is just our first center. There are four that go with those teaching the properties of magnets, and um, that's, that's the very first one that we did. And since that time, we've completed the other three. And I was really interested in looking at your box because mine's doing the wobbly thing. Mine's like that little boy. I'm going, I can't get this thing to work. But um, they really enjoyed this more than anything, showed them the properties of magnets. There's nothing like putting it in action to learn them. Uh, they have completed the three additional properties of Magnet Center. Uh, and each student's going to work with a partner to now construct their own tabletop magnetic levitation train. And once we finish, their parents are going to come in, some community stakeholders, we want them to come in and give some feedback to our kids. If there is nothing else that they learn out of this, they need to learn to present, to, to talk to people about what they're doing. Um, and the last slide is just, thank you, ARI. We have the most wonderful year in science because of the great things that we've been able to get through the grants and so forth. So that's it. Thank you very much. Nikki, did you do a STEM grant plus the yes. NIT?